Alright guys, welcome back to another video of KingX.X coming to you guys with a brand new video and today in this video I am super excited because dedicated servers are live on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Yes guys, dedicated servers are back. We're not playing on this player to player connection no more and it is live at least on the US which is pretty much you know, the United States pretty much. Not worldwide yet. But I'll talk about that later on in this video. By the way, if you guys saw my video from yesterday or earlier today, because it was at 1.30 a.m., literally in the morning, absolutely insane. And that video has like over 400 views. It doesn't show up currently right now because, you know, after you get a bunch of viewers and a lot of people actually view the video, YouTube kind of like stops it from getting views and showing up. So they kind of have to update that a little bit. But I have an app and it tells me I have 400 views on it. So absolutely insane. Thank can't thank you guys enough for that because I didn't expect that video to do too well. But what you guys clicked on this video was for is dedicated servers being live. So for one, dedicated server update. US matches on the PS4 have been hosted on dedicated servers. Results are encouraging and we will be deploying the test to Xbox One shortly. Thank you for the patience. Stability on the dedicated servers remains our top priority. Hashtag COD World War 2 has about 2,000 likes which is absolutely insane. And about 425 re re retweets. I don't know why I'm speaking so fast. But pretty much, we have dedicated servers. Now, I know that it only said PS4, but here's another tweet that I just got tweeted out right after I finished my video because this is the second time I'm recording this video because I rec just recorded the commentary. And next thing you know, I got a tweet from Charlie Intel saying, Update, dedicated servers for hashtag COD World War II are now live on the Xbox One as well as the PS4 in the United States awaiting additional tests before going back to online worldwide and then you guys can check the charlie intel thing whatever you guys can just go to the site i literally have charlie intel's actual website in my bio if you guys want to actually like you know click on that or a description whatever pretty much same thing but yeah we have dedicated servers absolutely insane because we've been playing on player to player connection since i think it was the november 10th or the november 11th one of those days and we finally have dedicated servers back because you know player to player connection it's either a good thing or a bad thing the only reason i say it's a good thing is if you guys have host connection and you guys were actually the host of the lobby well then that's just kind of an a plus for you because you know you got that a1 connection and you're always one step ahead of literally every single person which is pretty awesome and you know if you don't and if you got somebody who has terrible connection well that's a gg good luck with that because honestly the connection is going to be terrible, and everybody knows already about this whole undedicated servers, you know, player-to-player -player connection, listen servers. We've had that since, like, I don't even know when. Since, like, Modern Warfare 3, I mean, way before Modern Warfare 3, we literally got dedicated servers towards, like, Call of Duty Ghost-ish time. And now a lot of the recent Call of Duties have been on dedicated servers. And hopefully, all these issues that we had before will actually be fixed. Currently, the headquarters... Still not working, you know. I mean, I'm still in a solo lobby by myself. So we don't know if that's going to get fixed anytime soon. But hopefully it will. And if, by the way, I'm not sure if you guys... I already talked about this very beginning. But if you let me know if you guys actually are still getting the, dis the disconnected from servers issue. If you guys are, let me know in the comment section down below. Because, you know, apparently there was an update. And, you know, hopefully it ended up fixing everything. I mean, I haven't played my very first game at all today. And all I did was go to the headquarters, so I have no idea exactly if it's fixed. Hopefully, it's dedicated servers and disconnected from server stuff is all fixed because I want to have a really good, awesome, clean experience on Call of Duty World War II and not run into any of these, like, dumb issues, you know, all these, like, glitching issues. The only thing I need to get fixed, at least they need a fix on World War II, is hit detection because it sucks. But I'm not going to talk about that. That's for, like, another video if I ever feel like making one. But yeah, so if you guys did like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment you guys want to see next. I will post more videos in the future. I want to my goal of 3,000 subscribers. Also, I'm put on post notifications so you guys never miss a video. And yeah, guys, I'm out. Peace.